Sorry, songs. Sorry. Would you, how would you define God? Oh, that's a microphone. You want to give him one, maybe? <laughs> He's feeling left out. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I was just like, oh man. The only reason we don't is because sometimes <laughs> they walk off with that. Yeah, it's, it's, it's as many cameras there are, there, that many microphones. <laughs> Double, oh, double. I get it. Okay. okay. I get it. I get so it. just so you connect here. Yes. All right. So the question is, according to you, can you just give me a brief understanding of God, according to you? Your, your belief, your take, your ideology, your philosophy, whatever it is. Sure. Um, is, is it okay if we come here because we don't want to? No, no, it's, it's a noise. That's why I don't want. Yeah, yeah. Just come a bit here if you don't mind. Thank you very much. What? So first I want to no, no, it's okay, it's okay. Yeah, it's alright. I want to establish in this discussion where yeah. we do have common ground. Good. And it's in a belief in God. Good. Can we just define it as that? Okay. So basically... No, no, you, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm trying to answer your question about a short description of God. Yeah, yeah, before sure. I answer it, I want to use a common language so we don't talk past each other. Okay, go on. Is that, fair? Is that yeah. fair? So if we both believe in God, but we have differing understandings about the definition of that God yes, or definition, yes. yeah. You're asking, you're asking me Your my, definition of my God. personal shortest description of God. Yes. Jesus. Okay, so for you, the one true God is Jesus. For me, Jesus, if, if we want to go a step deeper into Christian theology, as the Bible says, Jesus is the radiance of the glory of God and the exact imprint of God's nature. Okay, but for you, there is only one God. Am I right? You only believe in one God? I hesitate to answer because you're coming you're coming from your language about God. No, no, no. You, according to your belief, do you not believe in one God? We're pretty God. Sure. Good. So it's not my language, it's also your language. But we have differing understandings of the oneness of God. As no, no, no. The oneness of God is different because you believe in a trinity. Is that right? That's the reason you're saying it's different. But you're defining these things. No, I'm asking you. Is your, is your God a trinity or is it just Jesus? If someone were to come ask me about God, I would not start expounding about the Trinity. I would say, look at Jesus. That's all I would say. Okay, so in other words, for you, the one true God is just Jesus Christ. Well, do you want to put it that way? No, I'm not putting it that way. I'm trying to understand if that is what you mean. When I asked you to give me a brief understanding of your God, a brief description, you said just Jesus. So for you, the Father is not God, just Jesus. No, I didn't. Exactly my point. That's why I asked you once again, can you please define, without leaving out the main important bits, According to you, who is the one true God? God. That is like me asking you to define a car and you go car. The word itself is not the definition. You have to define it. Tell me what God is according to you. you like like me, the, look. Are you when familiar you, with the ontological argument for the existence of God? In which case? In the case of the Trinity or in the case of this? I'm not talking about the Trinity, just philosophically the ontological argument. No, but the ontological argument in your case yeah. involves... No, no, not in my case. Yeah. The ontological argument says that the very, in all possible worlds uh, that could exist, mm -hmm. if there were a supreme being named God, he would exist in all those possible worlds. Okay, I have no, okay. no issue. I have no issues with that. Yeah, go on. So you say, uh, who's the one true God? According to you, and your belief. If I say God, that is a sufficient answer. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Because I asked because you. There's only one God, no, no. Right? I asked you. We have already it's stopped. It's not the same as the car. Oh, oh, sorry, I, I, I forgot your name again. Drew. 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 Look, for you, I asked you earlier, is Jesus the only one true God? And you said no. Am I right? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not fitting even into that question because it just doesn't go with the way I see things. Because I'm trying to establish who is the one true God for you. Because Peter, unless Peter, you're telling me, look, look. I'll tell you what. I'll, let's let's make it even more. More, more, more to the point. From the Bible, okay, not from your philosophical understanding, reasoning. Yeah, sure. From the Bible, who is the one true God? Is that a better question? From the Bible, who is the one true God? God yes. Yahweh. But Yahweh is not in the New Testament. There's no mention of Yahweh. Not? You said Jesus mentioned it. Yeah, Jesus is mentioned in the New oh. Testament, but not Yahweh. Not no, the you term. Said, you said that Jesus talked about the only true God. I was talking about yeah, Yahweh. but not Yahweh. Not the term Yahweh. Okay, so once again, who is the only true, one true God according to the Bible? Yahweh. Because <laughs> okay. the Bible, not the New Testament. Good, yeah, yeah, good. So in the Old Testament, <laughs> it's Yahweh, I agree. But for you, the more important one is the New Testament, right? Brother? For you, the, the more important thing is the New Testament. No. It's not? No. Okay, so for you, what is the most important book in the Bible? Really without, which, without which you cannot have salvation. None of the books of the Bible pertain to my survival. So, so where do you, how do you learn about God without the Bible? I learn about God with the Bible, but it doesn't affect, causally, cause the issue really affect my salvation. It does, because if you don't follow the Bible, 
Jesus says, if you don't follow my teaching, then you... Well, that would be me following the Bible, not the Bible. Not the no, no, Bible. Yours. look, look. When I say the Bible, I mean the teachings of Jesus Christ. So if you don't follow the teachings of Jesus Christ, would you still be saved? Mm, that's, that's tricky, because again... It's not tricky, it's very clear. It's very clear. So was Peter not saved when he denied Christ? He denied Christ as what? He denied that he knew Jesus Christ. Exactly, which is not denying him as God, right? There's a difference. I'm only saying. There's a difference between Peter denying if you know Jesus Christ yeah, because sure. he wanted to save his own skin. So he lied. He lied to the people who were asking him this, right? Right. He was you're, afraid you're of the on, Roman. You're going on a tangent, no, you, you brought asked, this point in. What do you mean I'm going off tangent? Be patient with me. You brought you, Peter in, not me. You said if I want to be saved, I have to follow the teachings of Jesus, and I and I didn't. I don't answer that absolutely because even people who say they follow Jesus don't always follow Jesus. Yet his love for them does not change. No, but Jesus says in the Bible, if you do not follow my teachings, if you Where do not follow that? me. Not, not my, if you do not follow me, if you do not follow Jesus Christ, then you're not one of me or you're not... Uh, Which Bible verse is that? Uh, I don't know exactly the Bible verse, but there's a, there's a similar. But look, you know, I don't know why we're dragging this. I asked you a simple question about God, and you're trying to get all philosophical for no reason. From the Bible... Okay, I... Uh, do you if, not want to use philosophy? You just want to use scripture? No, I want... I, I, I can... I, the I, common I, ground. My friend, so I can... No, no, no. I'll, I'll no, no. There. I can understand your philosophical stance, however, Based on the Bible, when I say the Bible, in particular, because you're a Christian, I want to focus on the New Testament. Cool. Okay? Yeah. So according to the New Testament, who is the one true God? What do you mean by who is the one true God? Which part of that question you don't understand? So I'll explain it further. Well, what, what definition are you looking for? Are you looking who for is the ultimate, Who is the ultimate God? The, God. Al the Almighty God. God. Do, you, do you know Almighty God? Almighty God. God okay. Is God. Who is that Almighty God? God. <laughs> so not, so it, it's, it's, I didn't say that. Jesus is the radius of the image of the glory of God and the exact infinite of his nature. So is, he, is Jesus Christ Almighty God for you? Sure. Good. Is yeah. the Father Almighty God for you? Yeah. Good. So we got two so far. Is no, the, we said the Almighty God. You didn't say the Almighty God. No, no. I didn't say God. I said... I know. It, that's my point. I asked you, is Jesus Almighty God? Yes. And you said yes. Then I asked you, is the Father Almighty God? And you said? Yes. Good. And is, you said the Almighty God, wait, not wait, wait. one Almighty God, wait a minute, Almighty God, wait a minute, God. wait a minute. Is the Father Jesus? Is the Father Jesus? Unfortunately, I don't believe you know what you're talking about. Since That's why I'm asking you. That's why I'm asking you. <laughs> is the Father Jesus? Hmm. I don't know. I thought you said I didn't know. Now you're saying you don't know either. I don't. The Trinitarian view is not essential to my salvation. So you're telling me if somebody doesn't believe Jesus is God, they can be saved. Why do you keep making jumping these conclusions? I'm not, I'm not jumping, I'm asking a question. No, it's because uh, obviously you're quite different to other Trinitarians that uh, he's come across. Um, is, so he, is he a Trinitarian, by the way? Yes, he is. He is. Yeah, so why is he saying Trini believing in the Trinity is not necessary for my salvation? Be for this exact reason. Because there, salvation is not a matter of a framework of right beliefs. What is salvation then? Salvation is a matter of being saved, not saving yourself through correct ideology. No, but being saved requires... Being saved requires God saving you, yeah, yeah. not you ascending to God through the proper ideological framework. No, but the question is this. Do you really think that God just sent you to the world without a guidance? Without telling you how you can be saved? Do you understand the question? I don't, I don't believe he told me how I can be saved. Not, so you're, so you're right. saying nowhere in... You're God, saying, did, God did not say... Do this, do this, and do this, and then you're in. Okay, so you're telling me nowhere in the New Testament God tells you how you can be saved. Tells you, tells you by whom you can be saved, which is Jesus Christ. Okay, so how are you saying just by believing in Jesus Christ? I'm saying by Jesus Christ. Yeah, but did Jesus Christ... Not by what I do. Do you remember that rich man when he came to Jesus and he asked him, asked Jesus, how can I be saved? Yeah, yeah. Did Jesus not tell him a process? No, uh, he... He did. He said, do, obey all the commandments, which you want me to say. But you just told me. No, no, no. no not what I want you to say. You just told me that he didn't tell us how. Jesus, Jesus told the rich young man. I got enough, man. <laughs> Is it okay if I put one on you? Yes, sir. So you don't get filled. I've been wanting one. Yeah, I, like I know. I yeah. afro on it. There you too. go. Is that okay? All right. I finally got my facial hair. I'm trying to get a beard like yours. It's taking me forever. So. No, I... It'll get white eventually. So... <laughs> so <laughs> so, uh, what, what are we talking about? Uh, yeah, about Sorry. about the rich man, how how the he used to be saved. How, yeah. What Jesus is you, to him. Because you remember the question I asked you. I said, did you, did God not give you a guidance?
how you can be saved. Sure. You said, no. Not in that way. No, you said, Jesus will save us. Mm -hmm. So in other words, Jesus does tell in the Bible to someone how he can be saved. But do you want to delve into that actual story? Yeah, yeah sure, sure. Go on. Okay. okay. So, um, rich young ruler, Jewish man, devout, comes to Jesus. Yeah. How can I inherit eternal life? Yeah. Jesus' first response is, you know the commands. So as, as you're asking me about the teachings of the Bible and how to be saved, mm -hmm. Jesus is like, you know, you know all the commands, yeah. obey them. And the rich young man is like, well, I've, I've done all these. I, I obey the commands. And then Jesus, Jesus then takes it a level deeper, a level more personal, and looks him in the eye and says, one thing you lack, sell all you have and follow me. So he pointed to himself as, I'm, if you want to, you really want to be saved, follow me, not the commands. Okay. So no, no, he, just, he, no, did, he did. He no, said, but the first, me. the first thing he said was to follow the commandments, right? The yes. first thing, the first thing you mentioned to okay, the Jewish sure. man, and then the man said, "I am." Okay, so you cannot still... say you do, you cannot say that he did not say You're this. Being disingenuous to the story. No, I'm not. I'm saying the first thing he said was to keep the commandments. Actually, uh, please, uh, yeah. The way we can say it, you said that he, uh, he personally he said, he challenged the man to follow him. But he did not abolish that. He, had to, uh, he didn't say that. No, no, he told him to follow the commandments. He said, follow the commandments and follow. Exactly, yeah. He said what he was lacking. So he only followed the commandments and he did not follow Jesus. So it, it, it's both. So he was missing the second to I agree. I agree. He lacks that extra little yes. bit. And that extra little bit is what we Christians did. So the commandments was, was that of Moses. Yeah. And because Jesus is the new prophet and messenger that's come to the house of Israel, they also had to follow him being the current messenger. Sure, they had to follow him. Yes. They didn't follow the words about But then him. the question becomes in what way did they follow him? Because Jesus also said he came to fulfill the law. So if he's still fulfilling the law, so Moses, therefore, the Jews that follow Jesus are also fulfilling the law. They would have to, because that's what Jesus is trying to yeah, he's got a good point. Yeah? So, okay. If if a Christian, or if someone who's, uh, who believes in Jesus Christ's message, if he says, for me, the only true God is the Father, and not Jesus Christ, according to your understanding of the New Testament, would he be a true Christian? So, according to my understanding of the New Testament, Jesus said, follow me. No, no, Moss. Did you hear that, that what I said? Jesus taught. Yeah, yeah, I, know, I understood the follow me. But I'm saying if someone says, yes, that he follows Jesus, and from from the understanding of Jesus' teaching, the idea he gets is the only true God is the Father, and not Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is a servant, and Jesus said, the servant is not greater than the master, and the one who sends, sorry, the one who sent is not greater than the one who sent. That is John 13, 16. If you want the, the you see what I mean? So Jesus was sent, yes? And Jesus also yes. said that he's a servant yeah. in Philippians 2.7. He also said he's the son of God. Yeah, so there are many sons of God. Uh, Luke is, in, Luke, in Luke it says Adam is the son of God. So, yes? Okay. Abraham is the son of God. Sure. David is the son of God. Many sons of God. Sure. In fact, sons by the tongues. Okay. Yeah? The question is this. So if this person says for him, the almighty God is only the father and not Jesus Christ. So that's not, that's not how Jesus described the father. Sure. Well, he did actually. Really? In John 17, 3. Okay, so offer me a, a Muslim perspective on when Jesus, within one No, no, let's not go to the Muslim perspective. Matthew 16, my friend. when he speaks of the Father, of the Son my, of Man, My, my friend, my friend, let's not go to the Muslim perspective yet.